guys, welcome back to Storytime. I'm Miss Tori and today is March the 30th. Can you believe that? We've had five story times this month and it's almost April. We're getting ready for flowers and springtime and Easter. So next month is gonna be so exciting. I can't wait to share it with you. Um, this is your March packet. If you haven't come uh, to Storytime or if you've been watching us online and you haven't come to get this, please come by and get one. It's gonna have everything you need. You can go back and watch all the story times from March and follow along with us. Um, so this is you're gonna need this to do all the crafts and activities and everything. So make sure you get one of those. And today, our letter of the day. Last week it was, what was that picture you colored last week? umbrella so the next letter is v so get out your um, letter paper and your counters and your alphabet page and find the letter v. v v v and what is this this is a vase a vase with flowers that's what you put flowers in a vase so you can color this and color all these pretty flowers up here and plants I hope you enjoy doing that, and I always like seeing seeing what you do. And today's story, it is, oh, you're going to like it. You remember Miss Tori reading um, The Wonky Donkey? This is called The Grinny Granny Donkey, and I'm so excited. This is my first time reading it, and I love, I know I'm going to love this book, and I know you are too. So, let's read our book, and then we'll have a craft and activity. After that, the Grinny Granny Donkey. Looky there, looky there's Wonky Donkey. And this is gr Granny Granny Donkey. Oh, let's see what happens here. Usually these store, oh my goodness, look at that. Look, look, look on the, it's her teeth. <laughs> this is gonna be a funny story. Look at that, <laughs> the Granny Granny Donkey. This is going to be really fun. I can tell. The Granny Granny Donkey. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Her false teeth, that means she, uh, she can take them out because they're not real. So she can take them in and out. The, the donkey. This is gonna be silly. Hee haw! But her teeth, her teeth kept falling out. She was she was a clunky donkey. Oh, clunky donkey! Your teeth, your teeth fell out. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heat. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew and dunk her biscuits in it. She was a... a... a donkey drinky. Clunky donkey. Oh my goodness. Donkey drinky, clunky donkey. Oh my gosh. This might be a little tongue twisty for Miss Tori to say. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, and fall asleep in the afternoon sun. He was a zonky, donkey, drinky, clunky donkey. Oh, look, she's seeping under the tree. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heat. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it fall asleep in the afternoon sun, then go for walks with her jewelry on. She was a clinky, clanky, zonky, donkey, drinky, clunky, donkey. <laughs> oh my, look at all that jewelry. 
There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew and dunk her biscuits in it. Fall asleep in the afternoon sun, go for walks with her jewelry on, and she always dressed smartly. <laughs> she was a swanky, clinky, clanky, zonky, donkey, drinky, clunky, donkey. <laughs> Did you get all that? Look at that. That is one busy granny donkey. Oh my goodness. Oh my, there was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. And she loved to sip her favorite brew and dunk her biscuits in it. Fall asleep in the afternoon sun. Go for waltz with her jewelry on, dress smartly. And she played her banjo to relax. Are you ready? She was she was a plunky plinky, squanky, clinky, clanky, zonky, donkey, drinky, clunky donkey. Look at that. That's silly. That is so silly. Oh my goodness. Oh my. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath, and she was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw, but her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, fall asleep in the afternoon sun, go for walks with her jewelry on, dress smartly, and play her banjo to relax. But if she hadn't had a visit from her family in a while, she would sometimes get grumpy and cranky. She was a granky, plunky, plinky, swanky, clinky, clanky, zonky, donkey, drinky, clunky, donkey. <laughs> That's a bunch of silly words to have to say together, isn't it? Oh, poor granny. Poor granny. Oh, there was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw, but her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, fall asleep in the afternoon sun, go for walks with her jewelry on, dress smartly, play your banjo, banjo to relax, and sometimes she got grumpy and cranky. But when her son, Wonky, turned up with her cute granddaughter Dinky. That granky granny donkey got so many cuddles and kisses that she couldn't get the smile off her face for weeks. She was a granny granny, plunky plinky, swanky, clinky clanky, zonky, donkey drinky, clunky donkey. Oh, that's a mouthful. Oh, look at there. Look, there's, there's Wonky Donkey, and then it says Stinky. So we got Wonky Dinky and Granny Granny. Oh. There was a Granny Granny Donkey who lived on the heath. She smiled so much, you could see her false teeth. Look at there. They didn't fall out that time. Oh. Hee haw. Oh, look, we're going to have to go back and read Wonky Donkey one time, and then we're going to have to get that book about Dinky Donkey. That is just so cute. I knew you guys would like that, Miss Story. Really like that story. Miss Story likes silly stories, and this is a silly story. All right, I'll be right back with a really cool activity and craft. I'll see you in a minute. Hey, welcome back everybody. Did you like that silly story about the granny granny donkey? I did. That was one of Miss Tori's favorite. Okay, so today in your packet, you're going to get everything you need to make this donkey. You can put it up in front of your face like that and pretend to be a donkey. It's so cute. You're going to get your paper plate, which I colored gray with my crayons. You can use paint or marker, whatever you have at home. 
and you're gonna get all the pieces here. You can cut them out, you can practice. They're pretty big pieces. So um, if you're learning scissor skills, you can cut out your pieces. If not, have mom or dad cut them out. And you're gonna make, I think she looks, I think this looks just like Granny Granny Donkey. Or you can pretend it's Monkey Donkey, whatever you want. But I thought that was really cute. And if you want to, you could put holes in it back here in the string. And you could wear, wear it like a mask. And you could pretend you're Granny Granny Donkey. How fun would that be? Also, for a family activity today, you can play um, a game called Best, Worst, and Weirdest. Okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to get mom or dad or brother or sister. And you're going to talk about what was the best part of your day the worst part of your day and the weirdest part of your day. The best part of my day today was getting to read you that story. I know I like that. And you can take turns and ask other, uh, ask mom or dad what was the best part of their day. Uh, ask brother or sister what was the worst part of their day. And sometimes kids have, um, you know, trouble, um, you know, keeping a conversation going and taking turns and things. So what you could do is have uh, an object like a salt salt shaker or a special pen, and everybody gets turns holding it. And whoever's holding that object, then they're the one that gets to talk when when they get answered the questions. And you can keep the conversation going and. Um, just ask three to five things about their day and get them to ask you questions too. It's always nice um, if somebody asks you questions back. So that's fun, fun to play. I will see you guys next week and it's going to be April. So we're going to be getting ready for spring and bunny rabbits and Easter. Um, so I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you next time. Bye.